Oh, How are you feeling? I've got a pocket knife. He's pointing at you. Oh. Uh, thanks very much to Andy Hounds for looking after me, as ever. Just, Just go through here and, and get your medal. Keep hydrating. Keep hydrating. Well done. Keep hydrating. Keep hydrating. Well keep hydrating. Keep hydrating. Keep hydrating. Keep hydrating. During lockdown, a lot of people found motivation, a lot of people lost motivation. I lost a lot of motivation. I stopped running for eight months and put four stone on. Look at that steam. I'm done. I'm just... My anchor's away dead. Oh my gosh. My heartbeat was like um, <coughs> 170 beats per minute never that I did five kilometers in 30 minutes and six seconds and I am absolutely dead I couldn't have give it anymore <sighs> here we go the road starts here now in November 2020 I ran a total of 67 miles of easy running, 108 kilometers. I used the bike a lot to cross train to minimize the load on my joints because I was heavy. I just needed to focus on getting the weight off and try and build me aerobic capacity. In December I introduced some interval running, a bit of speed work and I ran a total of 124 miles, 200 kilometers. And I plan to do a time trial at the beginning of January 2021 to see how my fitness had improved. I just finished mine, 5k, wow. 20 minutes and <coughs> 49 seconds on my fourth kilometre. Wow, I started coughing and I nearly passed out. My fifth kilometre was abysmal. I nearly quit. But I made it up at the end. I thought, I've got to go under 21 minutes at least. I need to tie my shoelace and do my cool down, but it wasn't. Now I did another time trial four weeks later. I upped my volume slightly this month and ran 240 kilometers, 150 miles, but I was happy with my fitness right now. I've just finished a nice easy three mile run. Um, that was good. I've got a super busy week this week because my little boy will be here Friday or Saturday. Um, and I've, got, I've actually got a time trial penciled in for this Saturday. So I'll have to see how that goes. I might have to do that Friday morning before we go hospital and get that nice and um, boxed off, see if I can improve on the last four weeks. But nothing's more important than my baby being born, so we'll have to see how we go. Um, but I'm happy with that, that was a nice easy run anyway. And now home, some tea. We're walking around the hospital grounds because the woman next to us is already on her ball <laughs> and, and it's not acceptable that they might go in before us so we're getting some exercising while enjoying the peace yeah. aren't we yeah. and we're doing the hamster wheel we're on our fifth sixth lap my kneecap. oh I thought that was a good pain <laughs> Today's the 5th of May 2021. I've so today I just want to talk about some realistic goals for my 10k time trial coming up. I don't think it's unrealistic to say a sub 39 would be a C goal, a B goal would be 38 30, and an A goal would be sub 38, which which would be great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Good luck. You don't need luck, you've done your training. Remember, don't go too fast now, you've got to keep up. <laughs> do what you've got to do, Matt. There he goes. Keep that boy. Life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. And we all got dreams. We all want things. But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe you can do anything? Come on. Every last bit you've got. You've gone this far to get your best time. Every second counts off it now. Here we go. Here we go. Good on you, Matt. That's it. All you got. Here we go. Well done, Matt. Well done. How do you feel after this? I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, that was hard. Excellent. That was hard though, but 3811 was the time. Yeah, I got it. That was that was tiring, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you're holding the bike for me. It's alright, Matt. I'm oh okay. my gosh. The nose, what? 38 minutes 11 seconds. So I'm so I'm well happy with that. This guy, yeah. number one. Number one, baby. Oh, you Come hit on. it well. 203 Matt. days ago, Yeah. I was fat as a pig and I did a 30 minute 5k. I've just done a 10k in 38 minutes. <laughs> 200 days later, can't complain. I was really happy with my improvement so far. 29 weeks ago, like I said, it was 18 stone, 30 minute 5K, and here I am running a 38 minute 10K. And it definitely wasn't getting eight hours of sleep every night, like a lot of people promote. <laughs> Lily on my shoulder here, she's three years old. April in the back of the buggy, she's two years old and has severe autism. And Jackson is only four months old at this point. This video was taken 102 days before the marathon and my fitness was going really, really well. But I still had one major roadblock coming my way and I'll get to that bit now. A bit of a hiccup in this week's training. I'm having a vasectomy tomorrow, which I'm not gonna lie, pretty nervous about, but yeah, it's gotta be done. Today is the day. I didn't get time to do any sessions today. Um, I just didn't feel like it, to be honest. I'm going for my vasectomy now. Yeah, I'm not nervous, are we? Am I? <laughs> yeah, fine. Five minutes later. Just for some context, it's Tuesday the 10th of August today and I've not trained for two weeks since my vasectomy. I've had conflicting stories on when you can resume training. First it was the surgeon said four weeks, which I mean he's the guy I really should be listening to, but um, the nurses said two weeks and online it says a week of, of um, inactivity you can resume if you're okay so I went and did 5k on the Monday the week after so that would be six days after having it done and I felt okay I had a little bit of discomfort but nothing nothing crazy I just that was after the run not during the run or the day after and then Tuesday I went on a on a 6.8 kilometer run which in hindsight looking back now I really shouldn't have done that because after I came back off that run um, it felt a little bit worse so that was on Tuesday and then Wednesday was a rest day anyway for that week last week but it, I was in I had some swelling and some pain and then Thursday was even worse I had like the swelling and pain and then I went to the doctors on Friday that was so that's Friday last week that's 10 days after my vasectomy and the doctors give me two courses of antibiotics to treat an infection so it's really thrown a spanner in the works hasn't it i'm under no illusion that manchester's nine weeks away as of now i'm probably looking at the rest of this week not training even though i feel oh, it's starting to get a little bit better now now i'm these antibiotics but i can't just go and push it so by the time i start training again there'll be eight weeks to go I'm pretty sure that the sub three 
dream of doing that in Manchester this year is over. Something like this, it just really humbles you and just makes you feel a bit more human than what you what you don't think you are. Do you know what I mean? You can sort of feel invincible when you're training and you're catching a good stride and you're smashing times and you're getting faster and you're finding your flow and you feel good, your confidence is high. And then, and then this happens and you're just like, wow, I can't even go on a run. That's where I'm at now with my training. Hopefully next week it will be back to normal and you'll be able to see, I don't know, if anyone's wondering how long it takes to get fitness back after you've had three weeks off training and what fitness you've actually lost, well, stay tuned because I'll be documenting just that and the short journey that I've got left to the marathon. Oh man, that's uh, the third seven minute rep. That was so bad. Um, let me just get my breath back. I'm on this recovery, so the first kilometer was 409, and then the lap pace for the remainder of like the 251 was 418, 417. Shocking. But I expected a bad rep. I wasn't expecting to come back to this training session and absolutely smash it and hit all my target paces. <sighs> I've been here before and I've been a lot more unfit and I've got it back very quick. So I know through experience now, all I've got to do is persist and persevere. Uh. <sighs> so that workout was 7.97 kilometers in total. Um, I think the average pace was 4.39 a kilometre, four times seven minutes. Um, I didn't get me, I didn't get me target paces. I got maybe two of them out of the four. That's it. Not bad. Oh, and that last kilometre, the last seven minutes, the kilometre was 3.55, I think. Yeah, 3.55. And then the remaining three minute, five seconds, I was going well and then I died off real bad and the last the lap pace for that was like 421 so um, I like this I like that it can be bad you can have a bad session I do because watch how many good sessions that I have coming up so that's me done anyway for now I'll just get me I'll just get my uh, cool down done it's seven long runs left till Manchester that's how I'm counting it and six full weeks training seven long runs including today and the meat of my long runs are really going to be in the next four or five weeks because then i'm going to start tapering down so i'm going to really need just to check where i am today that's what the that's what the main aim of the session is and we'll see hopefully i hit around 13 14 miles and put in a, a good a good overall average pace where if i can get between three hour 10 three hour 15 average pace today for a marathon and I still feel good at the end that's a good confidence booster going forward but one thing I have forgot to take with me today is gels and water I'm usually all right I don't need any water I can run a half marathon with um no gels or water but I'll be going a little bit longer than that today and I really do need to practice with the gels but I'll do that another time right now I've just got to get on with this long run so I'll check in every 5k. 20 minutes later. Okay, that's 5k done. 21.59. Let's call it 23 minutes. I'm just on a one kilometer recovery. And then kick it into the next 5k. <laughs> oh. Hopefully this goes to plan. But you never know until you try. Many, many minutes later. That's the third 5k finished. I think it was just a little bit over 22 minutes, but getting a bit tired now. Can't be bothered doing the maths. So I'll put it up on screen what it was. Uh, I'm on this third recovery of the whole set. And then I will break out into the next set, which will either be Three kilometers or five. It just depends. I think I've got a 
blister under my left foot, but I'm not too mad about that. Just takes the focus off other things. Um, anyway, I will get this recovery done and then hit the next set. Much, much later. So that's the that's the workout finished. I ended up calling it uh, at half marathon. I rolled into the last set. I wasn't sure whether I was going to do the last set as a 5k or three kilometers, just depending on how, how I felt fitness wise. And it, my fitness, this is going to sound weird. It's like a kind of a cop out. I hear this all the time, but I really know what people mean. My fitness felt like it was there. Like I wasn't tired, but my legs was just beat. Like they were just, they were just beat. So I did one kilometer into the last rep, the last set. Then I had a kilometer recovery and then I did another kilometer on, which wasn't even on. It was just more of a steady, just to push it, just to finish it off. Just to get to get the half marathon under my belt today, 13.1 miles, 21.1 kilometers. So uh, I'll put the splits up now what it was in kilometers and miles. But I'm happy with that. I know what people mean now when they say aerobically I felt fine, but um, like physically I didn't. And I kind of know where, where people are coming from with it. And I'm just, I just put it down to just the lack of long runs and the lack of running what I've been doing. But I've got six more weeks now before Manchester Marathon. This run was my first proper long run of the block and it didn't have any marathon paced efforts in it, it was just efforts. And in my head, I wanted to do four by 5K with 1K float recoveries, which would have took me to 23 kilometers, which is 14 miles. And I just didn't have it in me. The last 5K block, I had to do 1K on, 1K off, 1K on. And even then, I was absolutely done at the end. And I remember thinking, how am I gonna run a marathon at any pace at this point? Well, today's long run day. I've got 15 miles on my plan. Uh, first three miles at an easy pace, 4.55 to five minute kilometer pace. And then I've got five one mile efforts with one mile recovery in between. The efforts will be between 4.11 and 4.19 kilometer pace. And the recovery miles will be between 4.30 and 4.38 and then a two mile cool down. So I've got two gels on me, which take around the four mile mark again, one at four, one at eight, uh, isotonic gel. Then I'll take the caffeine gel at eight mile. See how we're going, well hydrated this time. Well, I was last time, I'm just more hydrated this time. So I'm just in the first mile. First mile done, I'm just on the recovery mile. Um, just took my first gel and I'm um, just getting ready to bounce onto this next set. Really, just an update. Currently about 432 kilometer pace. I'll slow it down a little bit. And um, rock and roll. That's the second mile done. I'm just on the second recovery mile um, all going well so far just gotta watch out for these cars oh, I finished that run um, that was that was tough I did the I think I, I updated on the first second and third anyway I hit all my target splits for the first mile second mile third mile and fourth mile <coughs> and the recoveries but the fifth mile on and the fifth mile off the recoveries were just off I think the mile was under 7 minute 15 pace I'm not sure I'd have to put it up but it was hard I'm not sure whether it's the heat I was making excuses now <coughs> I had me two gels they were okay I could have done with some water though I just don't fancy carrying a bottle but I really need to work on that because I didn't take no water this run knocked me confidence a little bit and I actually struggled after this run a bit internally with a bit of self-doubt because this was my first proper long run with marathon pace work involved and it was only five miles of marathon pace work with recoveries in between them and I couldn't even manage to hit all them reps 
I hit the first three okay, but the fourth I struggled with and I actually ran slower than what I should have ran and it showed in the fifth because the fifth, I put everything into it and I couldn't even maintain nowhere near marathon pace. And the recovery rep after the fifth was like a cool down pace. So in my head I'm thinking, how am I supposed to run a sub three hour marathon which is 26 miles and I can't even manage five miles with recoveries in between. And I understand you get bad runs in your training block and whatnot, but I had 35 days before the marathon at this point. So I had to just chalk it down as a bad run and try and forget about it and not speak any negativity out loud because then that would affect my training and I didn't want that going forward. Mile slow cool down. So 15 miles was the average was the distance and around about seven minute 30 mile was the average pace for 40 kilometer pace something like that but it was very hard so that's my uh warm-up finished so all right yeah the session is a 20 10 10 20 minutes just outside the threshold then a two minute recovery then 10 minutes hard two minute recovery and 10 minutes harder that's the plan but what I never like to sound too confident on these because it is what it is. After the first 20 minutes, I'll catch up with you after the first 20 minutes if I'm not too goosed. 20 minutes later. So that's the first 20 minutes done. Average there, uh, four minute kilometer, so 6.25 or 6.26 a mile. Uh, I just did 5K, just on a two minute recovery. Then two sets of 10 minutes. A little longer than a few minutes later. But so that's the first set of 10 minutes. Um, around about four minute pace. Kilometer that is obviously. But, oh, that was a tough 10 minutes. I went a little bit too hard in that first 20. But I'm on pace. And I'm very aware of the effort I'm giving. So, roll into the next one. Soon. One eternity later. Whew, that was a tough workout. And that was hard. Definitely hard. Um, I need a break. That's that workout done. That was very tough. Heavy session. Um, 43 minutes, 5 seconds. 10.31 kilometers. Average pace, 4 minutes, 11 seconds per kilometer. Just on my cool down now. Sweating buckets. But we all worth it come the day of the marathon. All this hard work that I'm putting in. 100%. Four days after that threshold session, I did my last big marathon long run of the block with three weeks left till the Manchester Marathon. And it went perfectly. It was a 30.6 kilometer run, 19 miles. And it was basically a three mile warm up and then four by 4k with 2k recoveries in between and a mile cool down and i hit every single marathon paced block i hit every single recovery rep like i should even the cool down i felt strong and it filled me with confidence going forward that sub three was on and i could actually do it good signs going forward anyway so going back to what i said saturday about definitely attempting sub three 100 percent i think that's a no-brainer I definitely want to go for it and really shoot for that because going back so long now like going right back to last November when I first went on that five kilometer run and I did it in like 30 minutes and I was knackered and I sent Kay that video saying like how tired I was I mean that wasn't even for social media but it turned out I'm gonna use it because <laughs> look where I am now I had this mad dream that I would start training again, lose a load of weight, and it, within 11 months, get a load of fitness together and run a sub three hour marathon in Manchester. And it finally feels possible. Right now, it feels possible. In the morning? Yeah. Getting ready to run this race. Just been over the planning. Got all my gels, got all my shorts, all my kit. Well, that's it. Ready for this marathon. Okay. Say good night, Matt. Good night, everyone. <laughs> there you go. How are you feeling? <laughs> How are you feeling on the morning of the race? I'm feeling good. I've just come to life. I've been up since about six o'clock. 
add some porridge and relax in them. On my way to the start line with Pat, all I was thinking down on the car ride down there was pacing strategy. I was going through plans in me, I don't know how I wanted to pace this. I was going to break the race down into four 10k sections and try and negative split the 10ks, going nice and steady and then pushing on. And I, I had the last 11 month going through my mind, thinking about the first run I did when I did the 5k and I did it in 30 minutes and then the struggles from there and the building fitness and then the drop off in fitness when I had my vasectomy and then getting back to my fitness. Everything was just going through my mind at this point like it does when you start in a race but it's not like a marathons are just not like any other races you don't run them every week like you can do a 5k or a 10k or a half marathon these come round only once or twice a year if you look at so i needed to hit it and i was ready i believed i was ready just gone to the toilet in mcdonald's and i'm just going to drive up to the bridge thing where i'm going to walk over now so i'll see you at the finish line i'm about to leave pat go to the start line i've got an hour and 15 minutes before my race starts so i've got to get there in half an hour 10 minute warm up dance around that'd be cool and then um let's go and run a marathon i don't think i've ever been as nervous as i was when i was walking across to this bridge with pat to say goodbye and then he was off to the start line you have so many things going through your head on race day. The last time I ran this marathon in Manchester was 2019 before this race and I got 3 hours 33 minutes and I'm walking up these steps here and I'm thinking I'm about to try and knock 34 minutes off that time and I know how hard marathons are. Marathons are tough, They're not like a 5k, a 10k, a half marathon. You don't get as many shots at them. You get one or two shots at this a year but I knew I was ready for it. Now going back to the plan, I had to break this race down into four 10k sections and this is how I did it. The first 10k I planned to take nice and steady and I did 44 minutes 5 seconds with an average pace of 4 minutes 25 seconds per kilometre. The second 10k was a little bit quicker, 42 minutes 58 seconds with an average pace of 4.18 per kilometre. The third 10k was a bit slower than I'd like because of that hill at Altrincham but I managed to go through it 42 minutes 50 seconds with an average pace of 4.17 per kilometre. Now sub 3 was slipping away and I had 12 kilometres left to push on and I just had to grind it out, push as hard as I could and what will be will be. Come on Matt, bring it home. Well done mate, looking strong. Brilliant. When I lost the three hours, I was just trying to get under three hours ten. Oh, and hopefully I got it. Get it pay off in the way it starts slow, build it up. Yeah, but it still killed me in the last ten. Of course it will be. Mark, so glad. it's inhuman to do that many miles. Uh, and you've done it. Excellent. Uh, just a quick after shot. It's just a great atmosphere, Matt, here on this finish line. And I think as well, People forget well, 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 as we look through the finish line yeah. to the yeah. Manchester you're getting your medal there. The oh yeah, hang on, Matt. Light and that was hard. Just dancing on those leaves. Those all started slow. It's I built up it's fast. Just yeah. kind of finish slow. Oh, that was a tough one, that one. But he did it. Nice one, mate. But yeah, Thank you. As I said earlier on, Matt, you know, this is, you know, we used to, uh, many, you know, this is you the know, medal that he signs. This is what he's you know, looking for. That's it. So, how was it, Matt? Tough as boots, mate, but well, it's good. Started off slow and went, um, built my speed up to about 15 miles and then carried on. I was alright. 
and then I got, I don't know, I think it was about 24 mile, 23 mile, and then just, just had a couple of bad miles, that was all. Compared to the last one, what was oh, it like? Smashed it, I mean, me, compared to the last one, it was like over 20 minutes, nearly 20 minutes faster. Wow, 20 minutes, and and you, you felt better at the end of it. Yeah. You looked pretty good at the end. I was surprised how you just looked refreshed when you finished. You would not have thought, Matt, you've just done a marathon. No, I feel a lot better so, than what I did last time after that last marathon. And then energy things are kicking in. Well, <laughs> Helping took, now, but... I, I started slow and I took one every half an hour, so obviously that kind of helped me. Mm. Must have. I threw one away, I only took four. You were getting a bit. If I was coughing, the dead, the dead thick. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't that stop? Well, it stops you drooling, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> good, good, good race. <coughs> Just chill out now, take it in, Matt. Be part of the team here. It's what it's all about. We're in no rush. Just take it easy. Have a can of coke. Have some, uh, what are they, Harry Bowles. What do you think of Matt? Okay. Yeah, but yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing, yeah, like, matter of fact. What do you think of Matt? I think we want you to put the camera back that way. <laughs> right.